Welcome to Alt E video tip number six MC Connector Extensions Primer. Most modules sold today come with MC connectors on the back. Here's an example of what one looks like. These modules may have MC Solar Line 1 connectors or MC Solar Line 2 connectors. We discuss the intricacies of multi contact connectors in a different Alt E video tip. When wiring an array with modules using MC connectors, you generally will have to have MC connector extensions to interface from the modules or series strings of modules to the nearest electrical enclosure. In our example we'll be using today, we'll have four modules wired in series, giving us one series string of four modules. MC connector extensions can come in Solar Line 1 or Solar Line 2 varieties. These extensions come in various lengths with a male connector on one end and a female connector on the other end. Or to put it another way, with a connector with a positive embossed on one side and a negative embossed on the other. In order to use these, we have to cut the extension to the appropriate length so that the plug ends go to the modules and the bare ends go to our nearest electrical enclosure which is often a combiner box or a pass-through box. The bare ends will have to be stripped to make electrical connections inside our enclosure. In order to know what size MC connector extension we need in feet, we need to know what length our array is in relation to how close the nearest electrical enclosure is. In this example, we have four modules that are about two feet wide each, wired in series. The length of the modules themselves is about eight feet. The distance between the modules and the combiner box is about one foot. And the distance within the combiner box that needs to be accounted for in wiring is also about one foot. The minimum distance then that we would need to get from the farthest end of our array to our combiner box is 10 feet. The near end of the array is about one foot away from the combiner box and we would probably want about one foot of wiring to make sure that we can make our connections appropriately. Given these numbers, we would likely choose a 15 foot MC connector extension. This would come as one piece uncut and then the user or installer would be responsible for cutting it at the appropriate length for their array. In the case of our example, the end with the positive labeled connector would be 10 feet with a stripped end and the end with the negative labeled connector would be about 5 feet. In this picture we can see that the connectors mate with each other and the bare ends go into the combiner box and make the appropriate electrical connections inside. To recap, one MC connector extension per series string. Whether the series string is one module, five modules, or more, you only need one MC extension per series string. In this next picture, if we have two series strings of five, we would require two MC connector extensions to complete the wiring into our combiner box. MC connector extensions are available from 6 feet to 100 feet. You must select the appropriate type of connector extension to match the modules that you have in your array. All the sizes are generally available in both Solar Line 1 and Solar Line 2. Thanks for watching this video tip. For more video tips, articles, and products, visit us at altestore.com.